designed under utter secrecy, the Soviets began development of a massive tractor in complete shadow, rotating it from dusk till dawn with western tires categorized for a huge dump truck. As the largest Soviet military vehicle, the MAZ-7904 had to utilize a ship engine and had several inherent fatal flaws that prematurely ended the program. Certain military items are too large to be developed simply behind closed doors and require more than just night testing to prevent disclosure. In the early 1980s, during the peak of the Cold War, the Soviets continued the arms race and started working on a massive missile carrier. It was purportedly constructed for the Energia heavy lift system for the Buran spacecraft, merely as a guise for the entire program. In reality, it was just another Cold War attempt to intimidate the other side, serving as a basis for the new ground-based missile RT-23 system. A rocket with 10 warheads weighing 100 tons with a range of 10,000 kilometers. During the USSR era, the Minsk automobile plant was responsible for all kinds of wheeled military vehicles, but this was the most ambitious and largest task at the time. The first and only prototype was ready in 1983, measuring 33 meters in length. 6.8 meters in width and weighing a staggering 140 tons. All this heavy steel was meant to carry up to 220 tons, resulting in gross vehicle weight rating of 360 tons in total, equal to about 60 African elephants. The chassis was equipped with three 2 axle trolleys to cope with such weight, but the Soviets were unable to produce such tires for their ambitious project. They turned to the Japanese Bridgestone to develop 51-inch tires capable of bearing 30 tons of weight each. Each tire was 2.8 meters in diameter. The Soviets even told them that they were for a new mining dump truck just to disguise them. At least the Soviet engineers learned a lesson from the non-dampened Zil-135 and used independent hydropneumatic suspension on this vehicle. To power the MAZ-7904, engineers employed an intriguing solution. Inside, there were two engines, with the first one being the YAMS 238F, a 14.8-liter turbocharged diesel delivering 330 horsepower, typically used for regular trucks. Here, the V8 ran all the accessory systems such as steering, brakes and power generation. The main 4-stroke V12 unit was derived from a marine diesel power plant made by Zvesta and was mounted between the cabins. Originally, the M351 name suggests a 61 liter displacement but the 7904 is said to be propelled by a 42.4 litre variant producing 1500 horsepower. Its power was transmitted through two 4 speed transmissions to all wheels. As mentioned, the first prototype was built between 1982 and 1983 and underwent tests in late 1983. Testing was strictly coordinated, with the vehicle only being deployed at night and only if there were no foreign spy satellites over Belarusian territory. After covering approximately 550 kilometers, it was disassembled and transported away to Cosmodrome Baikonur in Kazakhstan for the second stage of development. It traveled an additional 4100 kilometers, revealing significant design flaws. A maximum speed of only 27 kilometers per hour, too few axles to cope with the immense weight, and a massive turning radius of 50 meters. 
It also exhibited poor handling and could only be driven on soft off-front terrain due to a flawed wheel-bearing design. The MAZ-7904 was the largest wheel military vehicle ever made in the USSR. Development was halted after serious issues were discovered and due to the launch of a new replacement project. The MAZ-7907 was designed more thoroughly from the early development stage. While it had twice as many wheels, it was smaller in every dimension and used a more advanced propulsion system with gas turbine engines serving as generators to power traction motors. The MAZ-7904 was left unattended for so long that severe rust eventually led to its scrapping in 2010. Fortunately, the video game Mudrunner does feature this behemoth.